We're talking with Pastor Bob Kurtz, and I want to ask you first of okay. all, the ministry for children, you started how many years ago now? Really started in 2006 with the first golf marathon that I did. It was to, it actually came out of St. John's Church, but because we got other people contributing monies, we established a, a, a separate 501c3 to, we started to actually to raise money uh, for missions and for Wits Place in Kenya. That was the very first marathon uh, mm -hmm. that I did. And what happened was the missions committee of St. John's Church decided, here's a great idea. We'll have Pastor Bob play as many golf holes as he can play <laughs> in one day, and people will pledge mm -hmm. per hole played. Well, right. people were doing the math, and they're thinking, you know, he loves to play golf. I know he'll play 18 holes. He'll probably play 36. He may even play 54 holes. <laughs> and so they made their pledges accordingly. Based on you know, maybe, maybe. And let's say someone, uh, and I know someone who made an extraordinary <laughs> pledge, but let's say uh, $10 a hole. Uh -huh. And if I played 54, that's a great pledge. Right. But I wound up playing 188 holes. <laughs> And so people are having to pay triple and more of what they, what they envisioned. So the next year we did it. Everybody lowered their pledge. <laughs> and I played 220 you had holes. You to do more work. And I, yeah, I played 220 <laughs> holes. Do you have any idea how much money you've raised over the years? You know, I was. Uh, we're actually tr trying to do some research. Uh, there's a difference between the monies raised and the monies distributed because right. you have yeah. to rent the golf course, right. and there yeah. are other other expenses. Uh, the the big one in 2011, we raised $102,000. That was the week long one. That's okay. the that's the most successful. Mm -hmm. Usually, a uh, a marathon will will raise between 25 and 50 thousand. So just do for for almost 10. It'll be mm -hmm. 10 years now coming up. So we figure it's easily more than a quarter million. Probably getting somewhere between half. But I'm going to have those figures. Okay, well, let's bring us up to date. What's okay. on the agenda for this year? Well, it's a tragic, <laughs> sad story, Dennis. Uh, I'm going to be 75 years old, May 23rd. I don't feel 75. Uh, and, and to me, it's the first time in my life that a uh, number sounded old. I've always, I, I, God has blessed me with extraordinary physical fitness because, I mean, I couldn't do the marathons, if I, obviously, if I wasn't fit. Golf uh, Digest magazine a year ago uh, proclaimed me the most fit golfer in America. Wow. How about that? Okay. But you're still 75. <laughs> so, and you kind of want to let it slip by, but the board and I, and I talked about it, and we thought, well, this is a monumental year. It's the diamond anniversary year. So mm -hmm. the whole year for Ministry to Children, MTC, is called the Diamond Jubilee Celebration Year, celebrating and honoring my birth year. And we've got two aspects of it. One's going to be a big, big, big time golf tournament on my birthday, May 23rd, at Terry Pines. Uh, need lots of golfers, lots of hole sponsors, and so forth, and and hope to do very, very well. But here's the big thing: the, we have what's called precious jewels, and this is going to be an emphasis the whole year. Uh, Actually, Steve James, Kenya Relief, and Wits Place are joining with Ministry to Children. And Doug Doggett is going to be a major part of this. Doug and his daughter Kim at Doug Doggett Jewelers. We're, we're inviting, asking women, and men too, but much more women, uh, if they have a very nice piece of jewelry, very nice, fine piece of jewelry that they haven't used for, haven't worn for a long period of time, mm -hmm. to consider donating it to Ministry to Children. And uh, I've gotten, I, we're going to wait till after May 23rd in the big event to really make our push. But already in the conversations we've had, there's been great response. Great response. Oh, yeah. I, and it's surprising how many uh, women have already said, yeah, I have a mm -hmm. piece of jewelry. In fact, we've got a couple contributions already that, that they just went into Doug Doggett. And right. that's going to be the drop-off place. That program is a great program because the donor gets a hundred percent write-off with the IRS because we are a 501c3 so mm -hmm. it's a it's a donation in that uh, you write what you think the value is at that moment that you donated say diamond earrings and you think they're worth four thousand dollars you can you get a hundred percent write-off for that mm -hmm. what what 
is what it's resold for is incidental if we sold it for right. two thousand yeah and so it's a win-win it's mm -hmm. a win for the donor and it's a, it's certainly a win for the children uh that uh that we try to minister to and 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 help At ministry to children has no active program it's it, what what we are is a vehicle to distribute funds we like mm -hmm. to raise money for brooks place coleman caring for kids victim services and then we've got we've got uh, in Savannah, uh, certainly in in Illinois, in Decatur, Illinois, in uh, Edmonton, New York, we've got other ministries that we that we have been supporting and donating for over the years. So it, it's just you know one of the great things in life is to be able to bring somebody a check. Yes. Oh yeah. Yes. How good is that? Just say here. <laughs> and uh, so I'm blessed when I lo love when we. When we distribute the checks for people who want to participate in the golf tournament how do they do so well they can uh, the easiest way is to go to terry pines to the pro shop and pick up an entry form okay there are other in, there will be entry forms in elsewhere uh st john's church has uh, some entry forms and uh, and jj at pro golf discount has entry forms but the easiest way is just go by terry pines pick up an entry form and fill it out and we'll, we really it's going to be a great golf tournament a wonderful prizes. Uh, Bill Smith uh, is going to donate a a car for the hole in one. Somebody gets a hole in one, they win okay. the they win a new car. There's going to be hole in one prizes. It's going to be close to the hole prizes, and it's only seventy five dollars. It's seventy five dollars because I'm seventy five years old. Right. Okay. And we could we could make a lot more money if it was a hundred dollars, hundred twenty five dollars. But we want to keep it at seventy five. But everybody gets a shirt, cap. They get a a banquet that night they get a lunch goodness gracious <laughs> it's it's That's it, a lot it may be it, it should be the finest <clears throat> tournament in north alabama i would think i don't think any tournament's offering as much offering as fine a prizes door prizes and they could have their wife join them for the banquet that night okay. and we'll have entertainment and music uh it's just going to be a fun fun like i said door prizes it's a win-win for the for the children. It's a win-win for the golf participants. It's a win-win for anybody who comes to the banquet that night. So it's it's going to be it's going to be delight. The only thing is, <laughs> May twenty third, I'll be seventy five years old, <laughs> and that is <laughs> no. I actually, uh, it's it's a real good feeling. On the senior tour that I play, I'm still playing professional golf, which is amazing to everybody else and the guys on the tour because the the Sun Belt Senior Tour starts at 45, so I'm spotting him 30 years. Oh wow, uh, that's a whole another generation. But yes, I know <laughs> generation I have. Do you know? Do you know what they what they call me on tour? They don't call me the Iron Man, okay. which is my reputation for setting the for doing the marathons. They call me the Culminator. <laughs> the Here culminator. comes the Culminator. <laughs> you know, and uh, I've got great affection for them. But I play in the Bermuda Open. I, I play I play a wonderful schedule. I play in the Hall of Fame. At Cooperstown, mm -hmm. New York, yeah. so I'm still uh, still competitive. Uh, I call myself in professional golf. I am the leading money spender. Spender. As the years pass, the the expenses of playing and the money won. <laughs> <laughs> the ratio, the ratio isn't what it used you need to be. To work on the earnings. <laughs> yeah, I need to. It'd be great to to be the leading money winner, not the leading money spender. <laughs> uh, to wrap up again, the okay. date for the golf tournament. Golf tournament is May twenty third, but we're going. It's going to be a four day celebration. Okay. We're going to have. Friday. Uh, I've just recently bought a home out at, out at Terry Pines, and I'm going to kind of have uh, that weekend centered around the the home that I have on the eighth tee. But on Friday night, we're going to have a cookout for the sponsors and for the golf professionals. On Saturday, we're going to have a professional golf tournament, a two-man team event with the Sun Belt Tour seniors. We've got great players. Uh, shoot, uh, Blaine McAllister won three or four times on the regular tour. Danny Williams, one of my great friends, named one of the top 100 golfers of all time. Danny's going to be here. He's won six times on the tour. Uh, so you got some great players, and it's going to be two-man teams. So they'll, uh, they'll play 27 holes. Then on Saturday uh, will be their their event. Uh, Sunday will be an open house for uh, and for that's not for the community. I better be careful. I really want that for the for 
the St. John's community. If I have it for the whole community, <laughs> I might not have enough uh, cookies to go around. And uh, then, then Monday will be our uh, big golf tournament. Okay. Uh, the golf tournament starting at uh, 11.30 or so, tee off at 12.30. Uh, the, like I said, the lunch will be provided, and then uh, the big banquet afterwards. So that's it. It's going to be a four-day celebration for a a seasoned uh, veteran <laughs> golfer. For a young and, 75. <laughs> thank you. I, I feel young, and I and I, I am blessed. Uh, you know, as we as we get older, the most important thing, of course, is our good health and my. My prayers and my love go out for all those who are struggling and don't have yeah. good health. So I'm appreciative for every every day that uh, that comes and I'm feeling good. Very good. Thank you, Pastor Bob Kurtz. Thank you. Thank you for the time. That's great. <laughs>